Hey guys, day 9 of 13 days of Halloween. I had to squeeze a shorty in so that um, I could get all the projects done before the end of Halloween. So we're going to do a tag today. A pretty simple tag. I'm going to take a watercolor um, tag shape and I'm going to apply some collage podge matte. And I have this gray and black pattern paper. It's from a Michaels Halloween uh, paper stack from a couple years ago or last year or the year before. And um, it's got like little bugs and spiders and stuff all over it. Really cute considering they're bugs. <laughs> I'm going to rough up my edges with my Tim Holtz Tonic Studios Distress Tool. Add a little bit of um, black soot around the edges, but not over the whole thing. And then I'm going to take my Fresh Lime Black Marble uh, Dilutions Paint and some gesso to add some color to my page. So I'm going to add my gesso in a really thick... Uh, layer over some spots of my page uh, or my tag and the reason I did that is because I want it to crack when I dry it with my heat tool but not like so crack like like as if I used crackle but just a little bit if you've ever applied gesso in a thick way and then dried it with a heat tool you know what I'm talking about it cracks like ever so slightly in a very delightful way so and then I'm going to add a pretty thick layer of my um, dilutions and because the gesso dries so quickly I'm able to add a little bit of water just to the fresh lime and then it can drip around go over my um, gesso and um, move around a little bit so it's not just like blocks of color but it also mixes in with the white a little bit too um yeah so i'm gonna dry those two layers and then um i felt like i needed like a little more green i did want to leave some spaces of my pattern paper showing through because what's the point of adding the pattern paper if you don't leave it showing <laughs> But as usual, I got carried away and covered most of it up. So I added some black splatters as well. And then I'm going to take this Death Moth stamp by Viva Las Vegas stamp. It's stamps. It's not necessarily a Halloween stamp, but um, a Death Moth has um, in its body, it looks like it's a skull, which is why it's called a Death Moth. So I thought it was perfect. And then um, I'm going to stamp that a couple times using my uh, stamp positioner because I wanted to get really really black and creepy and intense so it stands out so I'm just gonna stamp that a bunch of times with my um, I can't remember for the life of me what this ink is called I am so sorry <laughs> that's how it goes so then I'm going to stitch him to my moth from the Tim Holtz um, Geo Insects die. I just ran um, it through my sewing machine through its body and then their wings can kind of flop around there. And then I'm going to do a little stamping around the edges. I think this is called Ornate Border. I could be completely making that up though but I think it's called Ornate something or other. It's from an older Tim Holtz um, stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp it in my corners and here and there to add like a little bit of a frame around my tag. And then I'm gonna take some of these Tim Holtz Halloween um, clippings words. And as per usual, I don't remember what they say because I do these projects so far like I do a bunch of them and then edit them. So, I mean, I did this one days ago, so I don't remember what it says. We'll find out together in the still photos as usual. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue everything down. Um, the stickers are sticky, obviously, <laughs> but I wanted to add a little bit of extra glue just so they wouldn't peel up. Um, my background's pretty textured. And then I'm gonna use my Stabilo Marksol water soluble black pencil and outline them and then I can activate that um, the pencil with some clear water to kind of feather it out and um, so it's not so like stark and in your face and it creates a really nice border around all of them and then I'm going to add some black soot around my entire tag and then that is it for this tag super simple super quick um, but I dig it so thank you so much for watching, and we're so close to the end. It's like a video a day at this point, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.